Welcome back to the band guide where we use GarageBand to create professional sounding music. I'm your band guy, Colin, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the arrangement track. This is a super cool kind of hidden feature inside GarageBand that lets you see what every section in your song is in terms of this is the verse, this is the chorus, this is the bridge. You can quickly see that move around in your session faster. And it also allows you to change up the arrangement. So if you want to change your chorus to be two choruses back to back, or if you wanna remove an entire section, you can do that easily with this feature. It's amazing. Let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do to enable the arrangement feature is to show the arrangement track. So we're gonna go up here to track, show arrangement track. And you can also do this with your keyboard with command shift A, this will toggle it on and off. And to start arranging your track, to start putting these markers in, we're just gonna hit this plus right here. And that's gonna add in a section. So if we wanna retitle this section, you can click here and you could change this to verse or chorus. Uh, but this is the intro, so we wanna go with intro. And then you just wanna set this to make sure, in particular, that it ends at all the right points. So in this case, uh, our song actually starts after one bar, so it starts on two. It's a little drum intro, and then it's full band, and so it's actually six bars. So instead of eight bars, I'm gonna go down to seven bars here, and we can listen to that. You said I so, so that's the end and now we're moving into the verse. Now one thing to know about the intro and about the first section in your arrangement is that it will always fill in the gap here. It will always start with the section. So if we were to shorten this, as I said, this really starts at bar two. Now if I were to add another section, it's gonna fill in that gap right there. So your intro will always want to go to the beginning of the song, even if your song actually starts on bar two or something like that. Uh, so we're gonna undo that. And now we're gonna add another section. So what it'll do is automatically fill in the next area here. So if I add another arrangement, then it's gonna to go to the next section here and add it. And it does it in an intuitive way. So if you have an intro, the next thing it's gonna do is a verse. And then if we did another section here, it's gonna do a chorus. So you can see verse, chorus. And it is always doing it in eight bars. It's very typical, but a lot of verses and a lot of choruses and a lot of uh, parts of your arrangement could be 16 bars, 24 bars, they could be longer. So you always wanna check uh, in this case, we're gonna delete this here. Oh, so you, if you hit delete once you've selected, it's gonna delete that section of your song. So you just wanna undo it here. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's see, this verse uh, is, let's see, how long is it? Let's listen here. So it's definitely continuing right here into this section. How long? So now I know this is going up till here, and then we enter into the next section of our song. And so we'll add in another section here. And in this case, we don't actually go to a chorus yet, we go to a pre-chorus. So I can go in here and I can rename, uh, and I can name this here pre-chorus. And then we'll add in another section for after, let's see how long this is. So right here is the start of the actual chorus. So I've adapted that and we're gonna start a new section here. Now because the last one was technically a chorus, it's added in a bridge for me. So I again wanna retitle that to the chorus. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the whole song, get all my arrangements laid out and I'll bring you back in and I'll show you what you can do with it. Okay, so we have all our arrangements in now and we can start playing around with it. So as I said, uh, if you watched my last video uh, talking about arrangement, now is a great easy time to just start moving sections around. So let's say I wanted to double this chorus here where if I hold option and drag on this chorus, what it's gonna do is just double that chorus. And now I have two choruses there, as simple as that. So if we undo it, it goes back to one. If I redo it, we now have two choruses there. That's it, that's how easy it is. Similarly, if let's say I wanted to take out this bridge, if I select the bridge here and hit delete, it will first delete all of the recorded items in there. And then if I hit delete again, it'll delete that section completely. So easy to make huge structural changes, right? The problem with this is that you could accidentally make structural changes that you don't wanna make. So if you're not using it, uh, it can be safe to just turn it off. Sometimes I just turn it off if I'm not using it so I don't accidentally move something around. Because the other thing that you can do here is, let's say I just wanted to move this bridge here over to after this first chorus. Well, I just did that and that was very easy and you could accidentally do that. 
That being said, if you're being careful and you're not making any errors like that, now when we're looking at our session, we can see intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, break, bridge two, chorus, chorus. We can see that very easily. So if I know, oh, I wanna to go to this chorus here, I'll jump into here. And what you could even do is get more specific if you wanna go chorus two. Now I know when I'm working here, I'm working in chorus two, not chorus one. Even if the instrumentation and everything about it is identical, I know that I'm in verse or chorus two, not chorus one. Really, really helpful to quickly move around your session and play with the arrangement of your song. Now, if you've made it this far into a video about arranging your song inside GarageBand, I know you're serious about creating professional sounding music inside GarageBand. And I wanna give you something to help with that. I've put together a six step checklist that just walks through the six steps to a pro mix inside GarageBand. It's a six steps that every professional mix has and how you can do them inside GarageBand. It's completely free. It's helped a lot of people already. I've gotten great feedback on it. You can download it from the link in the description below. Again, completely free. So be sure to grab that. I know it's gonna help you you out tremendously. Before you go, I also want to ask you a question. Have you ever used the arrangement feature in GarageBand? If so, what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. If this video is helpful, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next week with another video. One, two, three.